Hey guys, welcome back to another video. <clears throat> In today's video, I'm going to be pairing these two again. I did start recording this video before, but it was 12 minutes long, and you know I don't edit, and nothing really happened. Well, nothing really in this sense, but the the male Balfouri did walk out on her and start walking across there, right around there. So I decided to just say put him back in his enclosure. So that went well. They were together for about eight minutes, so that's all right. So I just decided to start this video again just so it's shorter because I know no one's going to watch a 12 minute video with nothing really happening. So with that intro out of the way and these two like this, I guess I'll skip until they start moving again. This is not on after at all. I'm not true. Is she going to eat him? Does she know he's there? I don't want to talk too much in case they can hear my or feel my voice's vibration. This is nice. Don't walk back from her. Come on. I get she's big and scary, but. I just want him to make the effort, you know? She's receptive for now. She doesn't do this a lot. She's done this twice. And both times he went away because of her size. If they start walking out of the enclosure, I'm still just going to let them go towards each other and stuff. Obviously, I'll intervene if it starts to like get close to an exit point of my room. If they start like going over here and stuff, I'll let them. Because I just want this to work although I'll probably prioritize getting her back because if they do pair she has a chance of having babies he does not in the sense of actually producing them wise and also if he lives the rest of his days just behind my bed or just in the walls of this house it's not really gonna be that long her, she'll probably lay the eggs, or she might lay the eggs and stuff. I just care about her more, really. She's gonna live longer, so. He's tapping too. <coughs> this might happen. Come on, go for it. Oh, 
It's almost like he's trying to find his escape route and like back off. It's like sweet talking off, like feeling for like the door handle or something. Well, I guess I'll carry this on when something actually starts to happen. Ooh. Maybe I don't need to. Yeah, I'm gonna pause this. He started to back off around the corner. <coughs> And that's pretty much all that's happening. Um, she keeps cruel creeping towards him. As long as they're just doing this, I think I'm just not going to show it. Because, I mean, this has got like two minutes of it already just tapping and stuff. So, until he either makes a runner for it, or she tries to eat him, or he goes for it, I don't think I'm going to show it unless something else happens, or it's been a while. I'll just carry on with the update later, basically. Okay, so basically, he's got her around the corner now. Still backing off. I think he's just going to keep backing off around here. And then maybe they will get to about here and then start breeding because that seems like a nice flat area. It's a bit cramped up in there. I could be wrong. Or he could just be trying to find an escape. I have no idea what he's doing. But she definitely wants him. Whether it's in her belly or a bit of both. I don't know. It looks like he's trying to feel his way in to get the tabia hooks, I think they're called. Which is the right place. So he's trying to like spread her, basically spread her legs. So he can hold her properly. Which I know this sounds so rude. But look. Here he's trying to push her up. Hey Robin, if you come in, be very careful. I think it's about to do something. I think what he's trying to do is just like basically spread her legs and hold her properly. It's not big enough. Yeah, I know, but he's got to try. I mean. How do they meet in the wild? Or is she a bit too big to survive in the wild? In this way. Oh, yes. Go for it, mate. Is he doing it? No, he's not under enough. Her fangs are out. I'm really surprised she can't lift up, and when he goes under, she just falls on top of him. And just eats him. But at the end of the day, it's just that's just nature. I can't really do anything. <clears throat> I hope she doesn't, but you like. You call it nature, you're the one putting them together. <clears throat> well. He did wander over to her, to be fair. I just got, got him in the environment with her. Also. Uh, no, I know what you mean though. Well, as nothing's happening, I'm gonna pause this again. Alright, so it's finally realised he was stuck behind that, so I reckon he's just gonna go into the backing off thingy again. I 
fucking kidding me. Oh, it's just annoying. I'm gonna very carefully try and encourage him back round. No, it's a bit too close at the moment. Yeah. I think I'm going to end that for now. I'm going to shut this. I'm going to keep him in there for a bit. And I'll just kind of like check on it. And I'll leave him in there for like an hour or so. I'm going to get him down first, I think. Anyway, I'll end it there. Basically, he ran out. I'm not sure if I got it on camera that well, but he took a chance and made a runner.